Get ready for the tech showdown of the century. Huawei's brand new Mate 60 Pro was here to prove that China's homegrown semiconductor industry is not backing down even in the face of the U.S. chip ban. Brace yourself for this exciting ride through the world of cutting-edge technology. Inside the Mate 60 Pro lies the Karen 9000's chip, a powerhouse with a 7 nanometer processor that's proudly made in China by the top chipmaker, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corp, SMIC. Tech Insights on a mission for Bloomberg tore down the phone to uncover this thrilling detail. Just last week, Huawei launched this gem online, keeping us on the edge of our seats by withholding juicy tidbits like the processor's design and the lightning-fast wireless connection speeds. Speculation set Chinese chip stocks ablaze, with everyone wondering if Huawei, based in Shenzhen, had orchestrated a triumphant return for its 5G smartphones using homegrown chips. The rumors had already started swirling in mid-July, and the excitement was palpable. The government-backed China Daily even chimed in, saying there is hope that Chinese companies will be able to ride out the U.S. government's sanctions and restrictions on chip supply just this September 1st. Let's take a quick trip down memory lane for a timeline of U.S. chip sanctions against China. In August 2022, the U.S. Congress passed the Chips and Science Act, granting subsidies and tax breaks to boost advanced semiconductor production on American soil. Then, in September 2022, the Biden administration threw a curveball, banning federally funded U.S. tech firms from building advanced facilities in China for a whole decade. The heat continued in October 2022, when the U.S. Commerce Department put a stop to companies supplying advanced chips and chip-making gear to China. They claimed it was all about curbing China's ability to produce cutting-edge chips for weapons and defense tech. Peace out.